What is going on guys and girls? My name is James and welcome back today to Roblox. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today, of course, we jump back into Beekeepers, which was literally released like two days ago. Hopefully you guys and girls saw that video on the channel. Today we are jumping in and we are quite simply continuing on here with our brand new journey in Beekeepers. It's gonna be fun, I bought a shovel. A few things have changed since that video, though. So, three, two, one, claim the beekeeper's hive. Uh, yeah, welcome back, everybody. Hopefully, you're all amazing and doing okay. Uh, if you guys had a chance to play beekeepers yet, I hope so. Um, honestly, I'm really excited to play it. I think it's one of those things. I was thinking about this, and I was like, hey... There's been so little happening with Bee Swarm for so, so long. Although, side note, I did actually see on it online recently. Uh, and I think he's added new levels into the decals. So I think bees are now going to go up to level 25. Uh, I don't think this in the main game yet. But, uh, yeah, whilst he's kind of doing his thing, and whilst we don't really have very much to do, we can start a brand new adventure in here. Look at this. Oh, yeah, my bees. So, uh, yeah, I started again because this is now the public version. And for some reason, I have, I've bred the same bee. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I've, I've got like a white hive, an accidental white hive. I've got like loads of these leopard bees, but they're rare. They're pretty good and they give you speed boost. So you know what? I'm not even that mad because um, it makes us get around the map really, really quick, which is awesome. But yeah, today we are going to continue on here with the fifth zone. And I also want to go and check out uh, this starter pack, this new bee and uh, yeah, do some stuff. Oh yeah, and I've got an exclusive code just for you guys, which we're going to do too. So in order to do any of this, I could technically evict <laughs> some of my leopard bees, but we do want to try and get, you know, up the zones as quickly as possible. So I think there's an NPC here in number five that we've not even talked to. Yes, it's Fancy Butterfly. Why, hello there, beekeeper. How are you today? Good. How are you, Fancy Butterfly? I'm good as well. Purple Butterfly told me about you. If you could prove your worth, maybe I can refer you to my boss. He's been looking for a master beekeeper to work uh, with for some time. You'll need to impress him, though. You don't want to get st- oh, Why don't you get started with some quests? I'll give you some beeswax as a reward. Yes, that's what we want. We want beeswax. We want all the beeswax. So I think zone five is just these two fields. Okay, cool. What is that? like an outdoor pizza oven Ooh, pizza yeah i think it's i think it's just the two fields here and then ah in zone 10 we've got a bakery and a spooky cave oh geez okay all right all right all right all right so he wants us to go into new fields now we've got daisy fields and daffodil fields so i'll do some quests in just a second but before we do that uh should we do the code yeah. Okay, it's a good one too. It's a good one. So, um, oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. So the code is thanks sausages. I don't know why, but it's thanks sausages. Three, two, one, boom. There we go. We get, uh, oh, it's behind me, but you guys see that? Uh, one royal jelly uh, from that. We also get three cups of tea. Three teas. Uh, which is a really, really good boost. So I would I would personally recommend saving these teas for like when you want to do a nice field grind or something. It gives you extra capacity, extra boost, all that kind of thing. You get three cups as well. I, three cups of tea a day is a good amount. I, 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 right now I'm having two, two regular teas and a decaf tea every day. I'm on three teas. <laughs> Are these people watching me? How do they know this? <laughs> <laughs> and you also get a bit of honey as well. I think 2,500 honey. Um, so yeah, thank you very much to the Beekeepers dudes. And uh, this is our exclusive code. Thanks, sausages. <laughs> now, I, I'm going to go and grab these guys. I feel like I kind of just want to want to get these and just see what they do. So we're going we're gonna to buy these um, for 200 Robux. And <laughs> the old noob bee. <laughs> oh, jeez, we bought this guy a few times, huh? <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> okay, they got the newbies. So, um, they're only limited to one. Wow, having said that, look at these. Iced white treats. Feed them to your queen to reduce the breeding time by two minutes. Ah, okay, so I'm going to keep these uh, for another time. We've got our jelly, our mystical royal jelly. A glob of special jelly that is when used... Okay, mythical. <gasps> oh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> tell you what we'll do first. Let's maybe get rid of one of these leopard bees and let's go and put in our... How do I do this? Noob jelly. So I need to... Oh, i tell you what I need to do. I need to do that, right? I've got my noob jelly and I'm just going to breed anything. Hopefully. <laughs> I think this is how it works. 
Okay, moment of truth. I think this is going to work. Three, two, one. Yay! Okay, there we go. Boom, we've got our new B. <laughs> Don't want to release him by accident. <laughs> There we go, fantastic. So obviously this is like the unique event bee. Um, what does it do? I don't know, should we, should we try and find out? It's pretty good at collecting nectar. It's got decent convert speed. It's coward and it's boring, whatever that means. <laughs> it should have a cool ability as well. I think it gave us boost last time. Oh, there it is. What to do, what to do, what to do? Hang on, get out of the way. Snoop boost, yeah, okay. So it does give us a capacity and a nectar boost every time that pops up. So it's pretty powerful, nice, cool. Oh, yeah, okay, so I just handed in the quest from uh, the purple butterfly here, and he said something about synergies. <laughs> I'm going to have to learn a little bit more about these, but it says here, obviously, synergies are permanent boosts that are unlocked by having enough bees with the same traits. View your bees to see what traits they have. So it seems like right now, um, because I have, like, all of the leopard bees, my synergy for my hive is fearless and speedy. So I'm guessing that kind of is the boost that unlocked. So you can kind of like custom build your hive based off the synergies and the actual traits that the bees have, which is really cool, actually. <laughs> I like that a lot. Right, okay, so I want to kind of like power my way through this. Uh, I've just handed in this quest here to Fancy Butterfly. Uh, he'll be enough to, uh, here's your reward, beekeeper. I'll see you again soon. Boom. Okay, so we've got another beeswax. I want to try and get up to 10 bees because I want to actually use our mystic royal jelly and i'm wondering <laughs> what happens if we breed it with the new bee i don't know let's should we find out can we even do that greetings beekeeper okay back again i have another beeswax for you would you like it yes brilliant <laughs> we may continue trading for the boss okay so is this gonna work like i actually don't know boom so we've got another slot here what if we change our bee we can Hmm. Okay, so let's try the new bee with the queen bee and then this mystic jelly. <laughs> and let's just see what happens. Um, breed. Okay, three minutes to go on that. I have no idea what's going to happen, but we'll soon find out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this quest. What is it? Nectar, red nectar, and blue fungus field. Okay. All right, I'm guessing that's been about three minutes. Are you guys ready for the big reveal? Three, two, what, what? It's a... Uh is a luna bee yo that looks really cool okay <laughs> so obviously we're always going to get a mystical i think it's just a case of it's kind of just a random mystical um i have no idea if the the new bee makes any difference um maybe it just makes it random um but yeah we've got our first mystical bee the luna bee yay cool uh what does it do <laughs> i'm guessing it's probably better at night time huh maybe I guess we'll find out. Ah, yeah, look at that. Okay, so it gives us um, night boosts. So it gives us conversion and nectar boost, but only at nighttime. Uh, and I think that's kind of useful because obviously the, the day and nighttime cycle is a thing. So <laughs> that's pretty cool, huh? All right, nice. Uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this quest because I want to try and get some more bees. So we're getting pretty close on a couple of these guys. We need to spend two skill points. I've been mainly going for... Um, a conversion boost right now. There we go. Boom. Okay, so we've got conversion one, two, and three. Nice. Okay. Uh, here is another one of those beeswaxes. Uh, so let's talk to you again. Welcome back, beekeeper. The, the boss chose this task for you. Red and blue fungus. Okay. Oh, we've not been to this one yet. Uh, we have to work, beekeeper. Awesome. Cool, 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 cool. Right. So how much is that? I think like at this moment in time, I might need to upgrade my backpack like a little bit, but I'm not super bothered about getting the best stuff but then again where's the next shop hmm maybe i should upgrade <laughs> i don't know uh let's try a new bee oh i just leveled up yay okay let's try a new bee and a queen bee uh and then let's breed it with a oh okay we need to do our, our uh our thingy first boom okay um yeah but then again we could also try and breed with our luna bee Yo, oh, okay, let's try the Luna Bee first. Um, I don't know what's the best thing to do. So obviously I think it's we're relatively color dependent. So if you want like more blue bees, you'll try and breed with more blue bees and white bees and red bees, etc. But I don't know what happens with like the special ones. So that should be interesting. 
Okie dokies, progress is going well. Are you ready to see what we got from our Luna Bee uh, breeding? Three, two, one, it's a beaver. <laughs> it's a beaver. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Why have we got a beaver? <laughs> What's a beaver? <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, it might be my favorite bee yet. <laughs> what on earth is a beaver? It's, um... It's rare! Okay, I thought it was going to be, like, something crazy, but it's only a rare bee, but it's absolutely perfect. Um, so I think it's another white bee again. Oh, I want to breed another one. Oh, we can! We can breed two! Yo! Okay, um, let's go and do straight up another one. Should we try Luna Bee again? I wonder if we get another beaver. Yeah, let's try Luna Bee again. <laughs> that took me by surprise. <laughs> a cheeky looking boy. Okay, and next we have another beaver. Two beavers. <laughs> Just for the meme, should we try and breed triple beavers? <laughs> oh, jeez, why are we breeding beavers? Why is this a thing? Um, so is the Luna Bee always going to give us a beaver or something? Should we try a new bee and a queen bee just to see if we get anything different? All right, okay, so there's another minute left on that, but then we've got 10 bees. We'll go and check out the bakery quickly too. Let's uh, let's see what we get, huh? <laughs> I got two beavers. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. It's a triple beaver. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why is this a thing now? <laughs> I didn't even use my Luna Bee. Why do I get oh, this is very beaverish in, in here these days? <laughs> You know what? It'd be funny if we could just like fill the entire hive with beavers. We could have like the full beaver hive. Oh jeez. Anyway, look, we're in zone ten. Yes. Um. So yeah, we won't touch the uh, the bakery today. We'll uh, we'll take a little look at this next time. But I believe. Okay, let's actually have a little look. Um. Ah, oh, we buy boosts here. Oh, feature your queen to guarantee a red bee. Ah. So you could force breed red or blue bees? A glob of nectar infused jelly to use to begin breeding. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is really cool. Right, I need to look at this properly because it's actually a lot of information. Um, And I want to I wanna see in this cave. <laughs> ah, it's a new shop. Yo, and it's a sparkly field. That's really cool. Okay, I was wondering when there would be another shop. So these are expensive items now. We're sort of looking into the millions. Um, cool. <laughs> well, there we have it. So I think, ladies and gentlemen, that might be about it for this episode here on Beekeepers. We've had a very good episode, I think. We've achieved many things. We've had many new bees, mostly beavers. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one. So until then, thanks. And see you.